Welcome to the Paris Vogue from... So we got to Paris yesterday and as you just saw I'm with Vicky and Megan and Chezzy and Aomi and the whole Ulick team which is super exciting. We have just got to a location to shoot some of the new look looks that we're doing. I am wearing this gorgeous suit which I am so obsessed with and all the outfits I've got for this trip are incredible. So I'm wow. going to go now pick some flowers and we're going to do some shoots and I'll take you with me for the first couple of days of Paris. accessories that I've got. Hair accessories which I'm excited to wear. These ones are so Valentine's. I've put my bag so these are to go with some of the looks I'm wearing this one tonight. Matching skirt and blazer which I'm going to put with a jumper and some tights and boots. And for one of my evening looks I've got this waistcoat look. This is a 12 and I was really concerned it wasn't going to fit but it actually fits perfect. These wide leg trousers and we all know I'm loving wide leg trousers right now. These leather shorts. I've sized up in these. These are 16 because they would be small and I'm so glad I did because they've got that really nice paper bag effect so I'll show you the outfit tonight. And then these boots. When I got these I thought there's absolutely not a chance they are fitting my calf but they're actually perfect. They're so nice. I can't wait to wear those with a lot of the looks that I'm going to be wearing over the next few days. For the trip, I thought I need all new makeup because, as I mentioned to you guys loads of times before, I'm not the best at doing my makeup and I do rely on Luxia to do my makeup for any event. So when it comes to trips like this, I'm thinking I have to do it myself and I'm not great at it. But I thought we can do it together. I actually re-watched the video of Luxia doing my makeup that I filmed for you guys ages ago. And in this video, she suggested this mixed with this that we love. So I've got the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum in Rosy Light, which is like my day to day. And then because we're going out for dinner tonight, I'm gonna to go for a bit more of a full coverage. This one is the NARS shade in Barcelona and it is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Things, how cute is this though? I decided I had to take the robe off because it was just, couldn't get to here and I was worried about getting it all over the robe. This set is from New Look. I'm going to film it for real. It's super cute. And then secondly, this, oh my god, I hope I charged it, um, mirror. I got from Amazon, I think. And it's so good. It's like this. And it's got a light in the middle. I'm just doing my makeup in the pissing dark right now. Now I'm going to go in with... Please tell me how much I've got it. And I haven't. Oof, it was close. I'm now going to go in with my Refi eyebrow set. So I've recently had my eyebrows laminated again. And thank God because it makes the biggest difference. Especially if you're somebody like me who is not the best with makeup. Get a good eyebrow lady in your life. I'm going to go in with this new powder from NARS. This is Laguna bronzer. She's pretty. Let's give it a go. How hard could it be? She's a few like, moments later. You know, like This is what I don't like when it just looks too heavy. In your 30s, do you also get this? Like whenever I put a bit of anything, look it just like sticks to my eyelids. <laughs> this is another reason why I think I find it so hard to do my makeup because my, I'm aged, I've got older. Harder to do. This is the thing as well when me and Lutzia talk about these things, we're like, a lot of makeup artists on Instagram will be like, making it look, like making so many people look amazing and whatever, but a lot of the influencers that makeup artists do are like 22 years old, I'm 34, like, I've had it before where makeup artists have tried to do my skin and I just look awful because they're just not used to working with like a textured older skin. So that's why I really rate when Lutzi does my face because I feel like she just she just knows my face if that makes sense. Whereas I don't even know my own face. I don't know how to put makeup on my own face. And I know so many of you guys probably feel the same as well. Where if you just 
you've gotten older and you're like, what? I just know how to do my makeup from 2006. <laughs> I've literally, I literally did my makeup from 16 and then I just got progressively worse and like, I can't even attempt to do a flicky eyeliner. I just end up looking like Amy Winehouse. This looks really nice. Using this one, which I don't know what any of them are called, but I just think this is such a nice palette. Um, I'm gonna put this on next, which is Hourglass. The Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Lou says to let the product sit for a little while and then I have to look up and just dab where my under eye is and keep looking up. Don't tilt your head back, just look up. Okay, hair is done. I have done my air wrap. I think I finally got the hang of it and I'm probably gonna include how I'm using it in this vlog too. And I'm gonna quickly put some mascara on. Like I said, I don't love my makeup. I don't feel like, when Lutzi does my makeup, I just instantly feel like, ooh, who is she? I look good. Whereas when I do this kind of minimal look myself, I'm just like, nah. She's 34. She's trying her best. So, that's kind of what I'm going for, which I think is quite realistic because, let's be honest, wouldn't we all just want a professional makeup artist to be able to do our makeup every time we go somewhere? But we're not Kim Kardashian, so I think we're not looking too bad to say we've done this ourselves, guys. Right, I'm gonna get ready. I'm already 10 minutes late. All the girls are meeting downstairs. Just got a message to say that there is bubbles waiting for us. I feel like I'm ready for a drink now. January, January, what? Um, but yeah, I'll show you what my outfit looks like before I go, but I'm really happy with how this turned out to say that I had less than an hour to get ready. We are now at Laurent after a few margaritas. I need to soak it up. Oh, it's you. Again. Oh, God, get away. It's really seems because it's blurred out, but if anyone ever watched Sex in the City, he's giving me Alexandra Petrovsky energy. So French. Come see, come see. Ça va bien, Oh, wait. She's like, this is horrific. J'habite la bande de l'Angleterre. Ouais. cheese in there, la fromage, and I got a few little croissants, oh, coffee, I need it. Yeah, I love it. Life in there. I love it all. Oh my god, hi everyone! <laughs> so nice to she meet you. This is the moment. This is an exception. This is the moment. And Rosie, say hi. Oh, hi everyone! Oh, my legend. Oh, hi. This is Rosie really runs. <laughs> Today I'm using this tripod here from Amazon. Shot the link in my bio. If you're going to have any umbrella, this is a good one. <laughs> We're hiding. Let's just recap on what just happened. Vicky went for a photo shoot with the balloons and now we're the very It's gorgeous. up in the bloody tree. <laughs> we got to go up and get there. Get there. We're climbing up shortly. <laughs> Can you actually imagine? Do you think it would make really nice contact if you could just climb the tree? Do you mind? Yeah. Oh so She's a vision. I'm taking the hat off. I just looked a bit too cowboy. Yeah, well, no, I think you yeah, yeah, that was a yee -haw I feel like it's missing the quill. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. my yeah. quill. Yeah. I must go find it. <laughs> Yeah, that, um, that's what we want. Yeah, yeah. The new hair. That's amazing. Look at matchy match. We've got matchy. uniform on. Yeah. So we've had a bit of a hair change. In the car? Yeah. 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 It is going in the car. Sleek it. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's given nothing. <laughs> he's giving it needs salt. I know, he's given it needs flavour. <laughs> that was such a cute little lunch. We're now going to go... Is it croissant making now, guys? Croissant making, which I'm super excited about. And I feel like I'm gonna get changed as well after lunch, because I've already shot this outfit. I got a really nice picture, which I'm gonna put here. Thanks to Megan, she took it on her camera and it looks so good. So I feel like I'm ready for my next look. We're gonna do some TikToks, aren't we, as well, Rosie? TikTok, 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 TikTok. 
Um, but it's a bit rainy right now, so I'm glad we're going to make croissants. But what a lovely day, what a lovely trip, and the girls I'm just having the best time with. Um, as you can tell, the energy is high. Honestly, I forgot to mention, I had things in my teeth. I just had a soup and latte. Um, the funniest thing I forgot to update you guys on was when we were in the florist, I got to left one for filming, which I completely understand. That I really wanted to film, I should have. I didn't, I didn't actually realise I was filming any of the guys. But the funniest thing was me, me, Megan, Vicky, and Chesie were all <laughs> laughing. And obviously, Geordies, Northerners, Southerners, we were like being quite loud because we were having fun and just being silly. And the woman in the florist hated us, hated us to the point where um, Alex came in and, and um, the woman like asked where we were from and he said oh we're f they're from England and she went mm, as if to be like hate you <laughs> and it was just hilarious honestly but yeah we've had a really fun day and I just love how the French say it with their chest you know they're not scared to tell you that you've, they've <laughs> they're annoyed by your presence <laughs> It's taking over, standing. Look how beautiful she is. The brunette. The northern brunette. Here she is, the northern brunette. I'm fucking knack, I'm sorry. The northern brunette. I'm fucking knackered. Right, I was telling Vicky and Megan the same thing, but when I fall to sleep, I hear their accents in my head, and I feel like I'm gonna be like that woman from this morning that wakes up and she just can't stop speaking Geordie. It's not a bad accent, I have. I know why I pet. See, it's my internal voice. Tell me I'm gonna fucking mistake that croissant. Like one big nail. Two corner, you start. I am back in the room. My battery died, which is why it's like an hour later, half my makeup's on my face, because I have laughed to the point of, you know when you're laughing so much that sound doesn't come out of your mouth, you just literally like, <laughs> because croissant making, guys, was just unbelievably funny. Chessie, it was like we'd all, it was like we're all kids and we'd got ADHD and a load of sugar, that's the only way I can describe our antics today, making croissants. And I feel like me and Megan were really, <laughs> really like encouraging each other to have bad behavior. I'm just gonna put you on here while I talk because my arms are hurting. Um, encouraging bad behavior. We were literally like school kids. It was giving me flashbacks of being at school and I was always quite like, I didn't shut up basically. And it was, it was giving the same vibes, but I've honestly had, the most hilarious day to the point where my mascara is down my face. This video of Chessie, this was the one that sent me over the edge because <laughs> she was like, she was pinging. She was like trying to get her cinnamon roll off the um, paper and it ended up flying in the sky and then halfway through that happening, the realisation on her face, Oh, I was I was crying and it took me a while to come back from it. Um, but yeah, it's been so much fun and I'm really enjoying all of the girls' company. Like, it's just such a good group of people. I think because we're all maybe a little bit older. Um, I think Ayam is the youngest and she's 27. So, obviously in these situations, you, you come on these trips and it's going to be amazing itinerary and you kind of know what to expect with the itinerary because that's kind of what's agreed beforehand. But... Like this trip, for instance, I've never met any of these girls before. We might follow each other on Instagram or we might have like spoke before and be like, oh, I'm going on this trip with you. But I've never met any of these people other than the new look team before. So it can be really daunting. Like put yourself in my shoes. Have you ever gone on holiday with five women you've never met before? Probably not. It's not something that, you know, regularly happens. I know there is things out there that do. I'm a bit cold now, that's why I'm wrapped up. Um, but it's like quite daunting because you're like oh what if and I mean I'm not going to name any names but I have been around people not on trips I've been really lucky with trips but I have been around people in this industry who were just not very nice so sometimes it does worry me and I think oh I'm just not like you know some people that are in this industry so 
it can be quite daunting, but I have to say, Vicky Patterson, Chessie King, Megan Wells, Ayami, absolutely 10 out of 10 women, to the point where I feel like I've known these girls for a long time. Everyone gets on so well. The new look team, hilarious. I feel like I'm away with my friends, which is a real pleasure to be in the situation and also get on with everybody so well. So I feel really relaxed. You might be able to even tell, like, as I'm vlogging now, I feel really relaxed and really happy. And that's really nice because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I've, like, I've had a couple of tough weeks with so from my dad, dad got his cancer diagnosis and my cousin died and Anthony's grandma's not well and it's honestly been one thing after another. Even with like ELR style it's been hard, like there's been a few things behind the scenes been going wrong and like delivery's not been right and oh, it's honestly just felt like I've been cursed. So getting away with people that I've never met before has actually really, really helped me. I feel really good today and I don't think I actually realised just how much I have been like in my own head the last few weeks um and like just not myself so yeah it's been it's been it's been a a, a whirlwind um f a few weeks whereas yeah I'm having a really good time I'm gonna get a shower now and wash my hair and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna wear tonight I'm really excited the reason I put my camera up was not to have a therapy session like we've just had it was to show you these boots one second put them on the bed which is gross because I've just been wearing them all the way around Paris but these boots I've posted today for the first time on my Instagram and TikTok while I'm being here and these are very highly requested and I have to tell you I'm obsessed with them they're obviously new look they are wide calf boots from new look wide calf boots I'm sorry because originally the only place I knew that did wide calf boots was Simply B and then sometimes I found the extra extra wide calf boots from Simply B are actually too wide for me which I never thought would be a thing that comes out of my mouth but these are like goldilocks of the wide calf boots and i'm obsessed with them they were so comfortable i've worn them all day long in paris walking around cobbly streets then i've gone to croissant making in them and i've only just taken them off now and i'm gonna wear them again tomorrow because 10 10 i'm gonna link everything down below that i'm featuring today so you can just shop all of those bits but i'm gonna say these are my highest recommended product of the trip because i'm obsessed just got out of the shower, quickly getting ready because tonight we are going to Gigi, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to quickly dice and air wrap my hair. I've literally <laughs> got less than an hour to pull myself together. So let's go for this, guys. I also forgot to tell you guys that in the Eurostar um, queue to get onto the, like, you know, like security, it's very similar to the airport. Um, in front of me was Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Honest to God, you know before like, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen anyone famous and you're like, recognise that person, do I know them? And you're like, oh no, she's a supermodel. I don't know her. And um, she was in front of me. And you know that episode of Friends where Denise Richards is like, Doo -doo 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 -doo, and her hair's like swishing. It was literally like that. Like she took her coat off to go through the security thing and I was like, Is a beautiful woman, <laughs> like she's her hair was perfect, her figure was so like petite but tall. She looked like her skin and makeup, everything just looked flawless, and she was just stunning. Like, you know, when you see someone, you think, Oh my god, you are your gene, put your genes, are, you know, you've been hit, you've hit the gene lottery. <coughs> then that's Rosie because I was looking at her like, it's Rosie Hunting to my. Then, I like to, before I'm going to take it out, give it a cold blast by pushing it down. Cold, cold, cold. And then, I like to completely turn it off and let it just drop. And it gives you the most perfect big curl. And then I'll spray a little bit of hairspray in that as well. But that is what I found works the best for my hair anyway. I know there's probably loads of different ways. And if you've got any tips, let me know. But after watching a million tutorials on TikTok, taking a bit of each tip and adapting it to myself and trying it. That's what I've found is what the, way, the best and stays the best. We just got to Gigi and we've been doing a bit of content. I just posted a TikTok by the TikTok master. That is AMI. We were caught by the, the real The TikTok. absolute Me. award winner, 10 out of 10. Me. 
It is. Yeah. No one can take that from you ever. Never. Viral queen. And then we have got now some fantastic appetizers. And here she is. It's a mouth and myth, a legend. It is. Oh, yes. What can she fit in her mouth today? <laughs> what can she put in that today? Oh. Gorgeous vibe. I've actually wanted to. Oh, here we are. <laughs> I can't be twisted with the camera right now. Um, I've actually wanted to come here for so long, but it's always so hard to get a reservation. So I am um, so happy to be a DJ. It looks incredible. Wow. wow. I prepared for you. Oh, Messi. 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 I want to see your crown. Is it like a, a it's Miss Universe. Miss Universe. Miss Paris. Miss Paris. Miss Paris. Miss Paris. Miss Paris. Tonight was unexpectedly wild. I am going to go to sleep. It's 2 a.m. in the morning, guys. I managed to negotiate that I don't have to be ready until half past 10, which makes me happy. But I definitely did not anticipate a 2 a.m. finish. My whoop in the morning is going to be so upset with me. Good night. <laughs>